My name is Salawish Micah Vogel from the Baca Indian Reservation, born and raised up there. Spent my whole life doing this kind of thing right here. This is a pook. This is a wild man from the water. He's a transformation mask. He's opening him up to the owl. And if you notice the, the squeaking noise, that's the wooden hinges, all wooden hinges, dovetailed in hinge tenons. So the sculpted hinge body that I use right here is all my design and the dovetailed in by hand or from scratch. So I carved those in to make this mask. He's wild man transforming to an owl. And so it's a shamanistic design. The shaman used the power of the, of the wild man to ward off evil spirits. And he transforms into an owl to fly into the spirit world to retrieve his patient's soul. Because a long time ago they thought the patient's soul was why he was sick. It's shamanistic. It's a witch doctor mask. And he's a wild man. This is pounded and shredded cedar bark right here that I retrieved myself from woods a lot like this. So we're in the woods. We're in the... Uh, Parkland, Pacific Northwest, Olympic Mountains. And that squeak is unique to my pieces. And each each one has its own unique squeak. The, the wood is compressed together, compressed and fit together to make this, what you see here. 200 hours of work, 20 pieces of inlay, abalone inlay, that's what you're seeing in the eyes right there, abalone inlay. His teeth, note the teeth. 20, 30 hours in that alone, probably. Sculpted, sculpted hinge body. So I can fit and compress the, the, the wood together. So it makes that, that's why it's able to hold itself open and hold itself all the way closed. Most transformation masks have a bunch of strings and things like that to hold them closed. See how tight the fit is. I just finished this, so it's still breaking in. But it'll always have that squeak, that that squawk that's distinctive to my pieces. I've been carving for 26 years. I did my first mask at 10 years old. Born and raised on the Macaw Indian Reservation. My dad was a carver. My grandpa was a carver. My great great grandpa, great 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 grandpa. I got a piece in the Smithsonian in the same case as my great 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 grandfather. So we share a case in the Smithsonian bone game set I made. He made a doll of a woman holding a baby, nursing a baby. We will open it one more time, huh? One more time. Awesome. <laughs> that is great. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. Hinges are so tight it takes effort just to open and close. It snaps together. Something that's unique to my masks too. And the, and the hinge is so tight it holds the mask closed too, what you won't find with very many other artists either. So it, it can act as a, a solid piece. It snaps shut with a little snap made in there so it can, it's not loose, it's snapped together, it's together. It almost appears to be just one mask. That's unique to my masks too.